Howdy YouTube, it is February 2nd, Tuesday. Time is just flying by, 2021. Stuff seller here. If you're new to the channel, I want you to click and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up to keep me going. I buy and resell here in San Diego, California, and um, I sell on eBay. I also have a TikTok uh, showing some of my stuff, and I just started an Instagram page. So I'll link some of that stuff down there on uh, on my YouTube uh, uh, bio. I had a couple of pickups. I uh, had a pickup last week from an estate sale. I spent uh, $84.05, and I'll show you what I picked up. I also went to an auction. Actually, it was an online auction, and I went and picked it up uh, last week. And I spent a little over 10 bucks, and I'll show you everything I got from there. Some pretty cool uh, military uniforms that I picked up. But from the state sale, I picked up some pretty cool vintage stuff, I think. And uh, I'll let you take a look. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. All right, let me show you what I found. Stand by. <laughs> said I spent $84.05 on everything you see here and uh, we'll go through it one by one so first off is this really cool Marco Polo clock Marco Polo is a wristwatch brand so I believe this was an advertising clock for Marco Polo it is plastic uh, but I thought it was pretty cool. So I think I paid 10 bucks for that. Uh, that's part of the $84 deal. This is a really cool um, ashtray for a pipe smoker. So it has this little uh, holder here for the pipe. It's made of wood. Had a $4 price tag on it. I thought it was just really cool. Cool looking. <clears throat> I'll get it cleaned up and uh, we'll see what uh, what we can get for that. Staying with the pipes, this is a leather pipe case. Doesn't have any maker's mark, but um, pipe stuff for me does pretty well most of the time. Got this little metal junior razor. Let me see if I can see a, a name on there. I can't see that right now, but it this is a, a play razor, I believe. So when uh, dad is shaving, the son can go up there and uh, pretend shave with this. This is, uh, I thought it was comic souvenir postcard. I thought it was kind of fun. It's dated 1949 and it has some cards on there. So, has some cool little writings in there. Um, it says six, but I don't think I paid six. I think I paid four or five for that. There's a lot of cool little cartoons from the 1940s. So, I don't know. We'll see. I kind of like picking up stuff like that. Got some albums. Um, some of them are in better shape than others, but uh, this is a Harry Mancini. I kind of just like the cover art on this. Experiment in Terror. Never heard of the movie, but um, this one I did hear of in Saw, The Pink Panther. And then we got a Merle Haggard, Oki from Muskogee old school country there brothers johnson and james brown so yeah got those albums there got this cool homemade knit charger hat check that out uh, 
got a three dollar price tag on there again part of the 84 dollar uh find but i just thought that was really cool this is a a bank and i can't get it open but it has the u.s um little thing here <clears throat> Um, so I'm going to try to work on getting it open. I thought it was pretty cool. This is a lighter. Royal Musical Lighter. Made in Japan. Check that out. Look at the graphics on that. Haven't tested out the music on it yet. I don't know how that works. Is it just turning this thing or what? can't do it with one hand but pretty cool with the with the case a couple of games uh, Xbox one not sure if these have any value the games are in there and then we got some cool uh, cool vintage shirts so this is a Sears Western wear um, Let's see, it says extra tall, large. Uh, check out these uh, snaps here. Red pearl snaps. Those are pretty cool. Look at the pockets. Long sleeve. And then this one is uh, True West Rock Mount, made in USA. Again, check out these diamond snaps look at those pockets very cool shirt <clears throat> if you don't know these shirts with the pearl snaps vintage shirts are pretty desirable you could do pretty well with them and then we got this San Diego Padres long sleeve shirt now this one is vintage but it has some stains on it I'm going to throw it in the wash, see if we can get that cleaned up some. Uh, hopefully we can. Uh, it is an, an older one, but it is in rough shape. So maybe I should have passed on this one, but um, I just thought the graphics were cool. Um, and truthfully, I didn't see all the stains when I first picked it up. And then lastly are these uh, longboard pants corduroy um, made in Singapore I looked this brand up and it actually uh, is pretty good so uh, we'll see we'll get these washed as well all right so for 84 bucks I think there's some money to be made I know these pearl snap shirts here I get 25 each maybe and then go from there let me show you uh my auction hall and uh, military clothes pickup okay so this was the auction um i paid a total of twelve dollars and forty cents so the bid was ten dollars plus um all the charges came out to twelve dollars and forty cents for this box here uh, full of military clothing so this is the first time i'm actually going to take a deep look into it and we're going to do it together so we got this cap here looks to be in a little bit of rough shape um i don't know these usually go for anywhere 10 to 20 dollars <clears throat> oh that tie is probably not worth anything let's look at this here this has a patch this is a navy uh jumper here with that patch there i believe that's a medical patch and yeah maybe hospital long beach it looks like uh, these jumpers are sellable this is a 38s small so yeah we'll see um if anything the patch is worth something <coughs> Uh, we have, oh, this is cool. 
the, uh, a jacket with the pins. Regular 38. Uh, it's got the liner in there. Oh yeah, this is a, easily a $20 jacket. If not more. Windbreaker. <clears throat> cool. And then we've got a white jumper with the patch. Again, Navy Hospital. Uh, the pants usually aren't worth anything. So that might just be a donation. Get rid of these hangers here. This is another short sleeve shirt with the patch. Here in Long Beach Hospital, Naval Hospital. Um, the pants, these jumper pants do pretty good. So these are navy jumper pants. <clears throat> and what I mean by jumper pants is they have all the buttons there. So those might do very well. And I think there's another pair here with the buttons. Again, this is us looking at it for the first time. Uh, navy peacoat, wool peacoat. These do very well. Uh, minimum of forty dollars on this peacoat. So it does have some uh, issues, but it could be dry cleaned. I won't dry clean it. I'll have the uh, the buyer. I'll just list it as is and just say it needs to be clean. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. We got some pants. And the pants probably just be a donation. Uh, we've got a formal jacket. Look at those buttons there. Some metal buttons. And uh, the patch. Looks like we've got uh, a raincoat. This is a long, long raincoat. <coughs> Another kind of a formal jacket. This one does not have the patches. And a shirt. The patch here. That's it. Yeah, for 12 bucks. Uh, not a huge money maker, but there's uh, money to be made there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, check out my Instagram page, TikTok, all that. And we'll see you next time. Stuff Seller Up.